All right, so today, uh, just a video. I recently uh, went to the DHS uh, open house uh, in Ohio. It was a uh, really fun show. Picked up a few things when I was there. Um, I also sold one model when I was there. I'll have a collection update, hopefully up soon. Uh, show you how the collection's changed and what I've added and what I've gotten rid of. Uh, but this video is just kind of show you uh, the things I picked up at the show. Uh, they did have some deals on some things, uh, and I couldn't resist uh, to pick up a few models. Um, so, without further ado, uh, here we go. First thing I got when I was in uh, when I was there, I got this uh, M316D. Uh, I know a lot of people think I'm gonna just chop it up, take all the cylinders off, but that's not the case. I'm actually going to just take the bucket off. Uh, I'm gonna drill the pin right here and take this stupid bucket off. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna buy a quick coupler and I don't know, some, uh, I think, three to six tooth buckets. I'm gonna get a three tooth, four tooth, and a five tooth, and a six tooth for it. Uh, along with the new quick coupler, uh, make it look a lot better than what is on here. And I don't have to worry about uh, it ever breaking. Uh, so that'll be, that's, That'll be a project that happens sometime in the near future. But that's one of the things I picked up. Next thing I picked up is this wheel loader. Uh, I'm not sure how you say the name, uh, but it is an old NZG wheel loader. Uh, there, is, there are a few paint chips on it. Uh, there's a couple on the fender. Uh, there's a few more on this side, but I don't really, it doesn't really bother me because it's just, it's an old NZG model. Um, and it was only $65, and I'm not, I'm not going to complain. Uh, it was a model I've been looking at for a while, and I knew these old NZG models have the paints really thin on them, so it does tend to chip. But there are some cool features of it I wasn't expecting, like the cab does tilt, um, and the engine compartment comes up. But I'll have more in detail of that when I do the review. Um, but that's just one of the things I picked up. Got that for 65 Got this for 30 um, and then the last thing I picked up, model related, is I got this uh, Grove RT540E in Walter Wright um, Cranes of Australia. Uh, it's a limited model, uh, only 200 of them were made, uh, so I picked one up. Um, this is going to be part of a custom in the future. Uh, I got some a really cool project for this crane. Um, no, I'm not going to take the crane apart. Um, I'm actually going to be having something built for the crane. Um, so that's going to be really cool. But it's, it's a great model. It was re-released by Drake. Um, like I said, only 200 were made. Uh, this cost me around, I think it was like 230 I paid for it. Uh, it's a good, it's a, overall it's a great model. I used to have one that was Kikosing. Uh, but I, got, I sold that a while ago. That was before I started collecting Kikosing again. But I really like the colors on this one. Just something different. The paint scheme's a little different. Um, I like the orange and the green a lot. And like I said, the project I have planned for this, uh, it's going to be really cool. I am just have to get pick up one more truck, or one more thing to... Uh, then I have to pick up one more truck, basically, is what I need. And then I have to send it off uh, and have what I'm going to have built. Um, it, uh, if you know <laughs> if you know what it is, um, or if you have an idea of what it is um, you're gonna you know it's gonna look really cool um, I'm not sure when it's gonna be complete uh, I know is it's in about two two and a half weeks I'm gonna be sending it off to the uh, my friend over at uh, custom styling work on Facebook um, I'm gonna be customizing it well not customizing this he's gonna be building some stuff for it um, but yeah he said he could do it and he's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be cool he said he's really excited to do it and he said he's probably gonna have to build two because he's gonna build one for himself but that's uh really about it um other than that i did get a uh turex uh I don't know, i'm not sure the number it's a huge turex um dump truck po uh painting uh to get it framed and i'll get that hung somewhere in my room uh this is really all the models that i got um like i said uh, the show was really fun. Uh, if, you, if you're watching this video, uh, you should check the previous video out before this. 
I did make a slideshow of all the pictures, almost all the pictures I took. I couldn't do all of them because some of them were a little blurry and stuff. But most of the pictures are actually on the Facebook page, uh, the Outback Customs Models on Facebook. There's like 167 or 68 of them I took. Uh, there's a few of my diorama my head in there. It was a simple auction dial, and I just brought a bunch of customs. Um, I went. This was my first time bringing something to the show. I wasn't expecting to win anything. I was just there to have a good time, meet some people, and I got to meet a, some really cool people when I was there. See some really kick-ass custom models that people made. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'll be going again next year, bringing another dio. Uh, hopefully, I'll be bringing another dio. Um, I definitely will be going next year, um, but I'm not sure on the dio yet. I still have it's a long ways away to think, but I'm hoping I can get another dio there. But that's really about it for this. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have a review of this up before I send it away. I know this loader right here. I'm gonna be having a review up probably. Uh, either by the end of the end of the week or n by next week, I'll have a video up of it. Um, obviously, the M316D is a project, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna re review it unless someone really wants to see a review of this really bad. But I'm not gonna review it until after I'm done doing what I'm gonna do to it, unless, like I said, someone wants to see a review of just an online 316D. Um, but I'm sure there's one out there on YouTube that you can go watch. Um, but that, that's really about it. Um, so if you went to the show and you got to meet me, uh, it was nice meeting everyone that was there. Um, yeah, that's really about it. Um, and I, the last thing I got was a, uh, I got a DHS t-shirt. Uh, they gave that to me for free. They asked me right before I was leaving if I wanted a t-shirt, uh, which is really nice of them. Uh, they had some, they had some okay deals that were there. Um, a lot of sword stuff was on sale. Uh, I didn't really look at every single one of the prices on every single model because they had almost... I'm pretty sure they had the whole entire stock out of everything, but this is just a quick video. Well, not really quick. Just a video I wanted to make, show you guys what I bought. Um, and that's right about it. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to us here on YouTube. Give us a like on Facebook. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Um, and that's right about it. So if you want to see a review of anything, have any questions, or you just want to ask me, ask me anything, feel free to Ask me on Instagram, Facebook, or leave a comment on YouTube and such. But thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos. And, um, yeah, thank you for watching.